It's TOS Podcast. Today in the last five days, this is the second time that he's been turned like a roasted chicken. You are a freaking professional. You've been playing football for how long? They have a level of responsibility that they need to impact on the game as footballers. It's TOS Podcast. Hello, guys. Welcome to the first TOS podcast series. My name is Tadeo Shaw, aka The Blunt Pundit. I'm going to be doing this on a regular basis from now on. And you always stay tuned to this DAO. Well, I'm going to be talking about the Ozil situation. And it's been circling around for so long with fans having different opinions. And there's a big division right now amongst the Arsenal fans. And I thought I'm just going to put this to bed and give you my own opinion on this situation um and i thought i'll let you guys understand what is causing the division let's start by saying the situation of ozil is a mirrored version of the situation of us in wenger in the case of mesut ozil arsenal fans haven't been able to weigh the gravity of his positives and his negative attributes in other words how much does his weakness cause the team on a consistent basis and how much of his strengths benefits the team on a consistent basis. I don't think we've ever measured that. I want someone to write in the comment section. If we have measured that, I want to know. I don't think we've ever measured that. Also, every Arsenal fan is right in having his or own opinion, depending on what school of thought he or she belongs to and what perspective he or she is looking at it from. What do I mean? The question now is, do you belong to a particular school of thought where you warrant discipline and hard work from a player? Or um, do you belong to the one that only sees creativity? What school of thought do you belong to? Or do you belong to a school of thought that wants both from a player, for creativity and defensive discipline? Well, that's a bonus if you're going to have a player like that. Now, Ozil for me provides the wow factor with the elegance of his touches, vision and passes when he's warranted the space and time to do that. But at the same time, I can say he provides a de- debilitating factor to the team's structure of the ball. What do I mean? He weakens the team when the team is running around off the ball. That is the fact. We see that all the time because he's never going to put a tackle in. He's not going to do that for you. However, there are two requirements which we as fans should consider here. Right? Is it creativity at the cost of putting in the work of the ball or is it putting in the work of the ball and losing the creativity or do you want both of them this is a question for we fans to answer and i had an argument recently with robbie on arsenal fan tv or sorry af tv pardon me um and i think robbie was asking the question and so as many other people have actually asked the question why can't other players do the work for him Ozil in this case, and he provides the creativity. Well, the answer to that for me is more than their football has evolved, that all players are required to put in work, and then creativity becomes an added advantage. This is how I say it. Now, like I said earlier, it's simply and purely one school of thought against another. As far as I'm concerned, this debate will never die. Because Ozil hasn't tried to balance out his own abilities, or should I say, learn to develop other sides of his game because he has been indulged far too long and allowed to thrive in the present ability he has. And hey, he's already 30. Do you think he's ever going to change or ever try to learn something new? I don't think so. Well, I remember very well when he was in Real Madrid, Ozil had an argument with Mourinho. A lot of who didn't know this. He had a big argument with Mourinho regarding putting in work. And I remember vividly, and I quote, Mourinho said, you think two beautiful passes are enough. You think you're so good that 50% is enough. Are you giving up now? After having an argument with Mesut Ozil, and he actually called him a coward. He said, you're such a coward. This is exactly what Mourinho told Ozil. You can Google it and find out. Now, he also added and said, what do you want? Do you want to creep under a beautiful warm shower, shampoo your hair to be alone, or do you want to prove to your fellow players, the fans out there, and to me, what you can do? 
some people will say oh yeah this is the same Mourinho that said was is the best attacking midfielder in the world but i tell you this guys in as much as he said that while he was in chelsea he also is the same pl- man that only played Mesut Ozil for an average of 65 to 69 minutes in Real Madrid. If you don't know that, go and check it. Oh, Mesut Ozil hardly finished a game in Real Madrid because he didn't have the strength to finish a game. He hardly played 90 minutes under Jose Mourinho. Now, I'm just trying to bring out the facts here about the kind of player Ozil is. He is such an artist. I, I adore his creativity there's no doubt about it he is absolutely creative as an artist according to what some people say but sometimes the game requires much more than just being an artist but creates but, but requires work i beg your pardon and before we bought ozil in arsenal ancelotti let him go the best players apart from arsenal in this case i don't think any team in this world is gonna let go of their best players now, Ange- Angelotti grant- didn't guarantee him 90 minutes because he saw that there were other players that can put in equal amount of work, or should I say better work, than he does in the team. And this is why they had to get rid of someone and he chose Ozil as the person he was going to let go for Bill to come. No offense to Ozil, but the truth is, if Angelotti thought he was, you know, up to the level or the requirement of the kind of football he wants to play, I don't think he was going to let him go to Arsenal. No matter what, I don't think so. So these are things that we need, really need to consider, in my own opinion. Now, to buttress that point, that Ozil will always be a divisive figure amongst the Arsenal faithfuls. I'm sorry to say, but that's just how it is. Because there are different perspectives and expectations from different fans. Okay? His case isn't different from, you know, two men that go into a market. Say, for instance, one wanting to buy a Porsche which is slick and can be used for, you know, parties, you know, the ladies love it. As opposed to the man that needs a jeep with a grill in front of it that he wants to use on a very rugged road, you know, or in the farm or something. Now, it's a matter of are the manufacturers ready to decide to create a sporty, slicker version of a jeep that can be rugged and at the same time can be used to go to a party that kind of, you know, bears best of both worlds in terms of the slickness and in terms of the ruggedness is left to the manufacturers to do that and now what do i mean by this this analogy here simply means that is mezu ozil ready to improve that side of his game that is required for him to get into an emery's team or not my feeling is he's not ready to do that because he's 30 he's, he's getting old he's getting to the age where he, he's probably going to be going out to get money wherever he's going to go to if he's going to stay in arsenal he's going to leave He's probably not going to improve that side of his game. And that's going to make it very difficult for him to make it in the race team. Don't get me wrong, we've lacked creativity um, in so many Arsenal games. There's no doubt about it. But at the same time, there are games where you need a lot of work and defensive discipline to be done by a player. To end with this, I belong to the school of thought that requires both creativity and hard work from a player. I know that is very hard and scarce. And unfortunately, Ozil will not provide that. Um, perhaps because it's too late for him. He's 30 and he's not going to be able to change his game. However, this division will continue because, like I said, I am of the school of thought where I want both. Some people are of the school of thought where they want creativity. Some people are of the school of thought where they want defensive inclination. And for me, it's always going to be a debate and it's never going to end. However, come on, you Gunners! Thank you very much, guys. It's TOS Podcast. Today, in the last five days, this is the second time that he's been turned like a roasted chicken. You are a freaking professional. You've been playing football for how long? They have a level of responsibility that they need to impact on the game as footballers. It's TOS Podcast. Hello guys, really glad you enjoyed that video. One more thing you have to do for me, make sure you like, share and subscribe, please. 
And while you subscribe, make sure you click the bell icon as well, not to miss any of my videos. Thank you very much, guys. Bye. <laughs>